I was outside for like five minutes and my hair shook up. I was honestly outside for five minutes. And it shook up like crazy. I felt it. I felt it coming. Oh yeah. Let's do this. Hey guys, it's me, Asia, and today I have another boxy charm video because I actually forgot to do it <laughs> when I got here. I got this about a couple of weeks ago and I didn't have time to do it because I have been studying for midterms and my last one was yesterday and it really hurt my soul. <laughs> so yeah. Let's do this boxy charm video right now, though. And as you can tell, I'm a little bit congested. I don't know if I'm sick or what, but I feel okay. I'm just really congested. <clears throat> there we go. All right, kind of. My voice sounds super deep right now. Anyway, let's get started with this boxy charm video. So first thing I saw when I opened this box were these crown brush kit one second so this month's box by the way is called galaxy glow and that is properly Lila. that is properly named if you can tell by my eyeshadow and my makeup that i got going on that's what's happening but anyway first things i saw when i opened this box were the crown brush trio brush set and these retail for 29.99 it's a three-piece trio brush set to contour your face to perfection. The small brush can be used as a concealer brush. The me medium one, which is this one, can be used for highlight and the bigger one for powder and setting your face. So I did use the small one for concealer, but just under my eyes. I think they meant for like concealer for a spot treatment, but I really don't do that anymore because I use full coverage foundation. So I really don't have a need to spot conceal but I did use it under my eyes which is pretty much the only place where I use concealer which I've never used a brush for concealer under my eyes before I usually use my little sponge so I mean I honestly never really use a brush I haven't in a long time I haven't used a brush for my makeup in general in a long time except for powder but yeah that was different it actually worked really well like it went on really smoothly there was no streaking or anything, which is why I kind of stopped using brushes was because of the streakiness. But there was no streaking or anything, and it was really nice. Really smooth. And then the second one I used was the bigger one to set. And I used this for, I started to use this to set my whole face. But it's not quite, it's not fluffy enough for me to do that. Like, I like to go over really quick. Like, I don't want to feel like my foundation is being rubbed off. And it's just, it's not, it's like in the middle. I needed to be just a little bit fluffier in order to set my whole face. But it was great for setting my under eye concealer. That was great for using it um, for my flower powder by Beauty Bakery. The yellow setting powder. It was great for this. And my eyes look really nice underneath, honestly. Yeah, look really great. So it was great for that. And brushing it away. It was effortless. And the last brush I used, of course, was for blush. Yeah, I used this for blush. And with that, I used this NYX Blush and Mocha. So, because I needed something a little subtle, because I got a lot going on right now. So, I, I used the Mocha Blush, which is pretty subtle and it's a nice everyday brush. Blush. It's not too much. So, then I went in with the eyes. And I use this Naked Cosmetics Holographic Highlighter Collection Palette. Um, and this retails for $39.99. And it has six stunning holographic shades. This highlighting palette is essential for any makeup enthusiast. Each iridescent shade is perfect for highlighting and layering to transform any look into something enchanting. So I decided to use it on my eyes because I mean it's six shades and I was like eh how am I going to use six shades or even half of this just to highlight my face so I was like eh 
I'll use it as a um, as in I look today. Let me go ahead and swatch these for you. There are no names on this, so I mean they're colored. It's kind of hard to show you because of the packaging. And there's no mirror, but yeah, the packaging is all holographic, so it's like reflecting off the camera. Sorry about that. So anyway, let's start with the pinky one, and I'm just gonna swatch them for you, real quick. And I'm just going in order. And those are all of the shades. It's really pretty. They're all really pretty colors. However, they applied. Those are all the shades. Yeah, they went on pretty easily. However, they applied very differently. Um, as you can see, I used at least. I, I pretty much used all the shades on my eyes, to be honest with you. And I'm going to tell you why. It looks like I used three. Let me zoom in. But really, I used all of them. I used all the shades. I was planning only to use three. But I ended up using all of them because I had to. So anyway. I started off with the blue one. Which is the corner of my eye. I started with the blue one. And I was most excited about the blue one. Because it was really pretty. It's the prettiest one, I think. In my opinion, I like it the most. But it didn't apply so nicely. Um, and I understand. It's supposed to be like a highlighter. But it is very glittery. But yeah, the blue one didn't apply very nicely. Like, there is some creasing in there. Yeah. And I have, I have a good bit of... Yeah. Good bit of creasing in my my lid area yeah but the blue one is the one that did not apply so nicely the blue one is the one that has the most creasing out of all of them I really don't see much in the green the green applied very smoothly and very easily but the blue I had to go over the blue about six times or so and then eventually I just kind of went in with my finger because I got frustrated I was like I'm just gonna put it on with my finger which is something I usually don't do um, and even then still it, it creased but I mean it looks cool but yeah, keep that in mind if you try to do a, a look, an eye look with that, with this. And then, so the green applied very nicely on its own, which is in the middle. And then on the end, like the end part of my eye, is pretty much the pink, the purple, and the other pinky orange color. They're all like on there, layered on there. And that is because it really didn't want to show up on my eye, so I just kind of had to layer them on there so they could show up and I use a bit of the yellow uh, next to the green uh, yeah at the very end as well but yeah so yeah I think it's a very nice highlighter palette uh, I did end up using it to actually highlight my cheeks as well but let me tell you what I did first first I used this cover XX cover FX shimmer veil and this is $28 and it's a multi-use shimmering cream color oh I think there's more of them okay it says these multi-use shimmering cream colors are crease proof enough for the bath boldest of eye looks and formulate it with a weightless finish for a shimmering effect anywhere on the face subtle for all suitable for all skin types and this is an amethyst so I ended up using this under my eye, just under my eye on the bottom lid. And then I also put it on my cheekbones as well. Yeah. But this is very, very wet. <laughs> it's very wet. So I was a little nervous to put it on my cheekbones, but it applied nicely. But once you apply it, it's there. Like you can't really blend it out or anything after it's dry. So you might want to like hurry up and blend it out. Because once you start to, is it and it dries, it's there. Like you can't move it. So that is it. And then you. It's a very pretty color. But yeah, once it dries, 
is not moving. But yeah, it's very nice. It's very just like it is definitely bold and just out there. But it's really nice. It's really pretty. And you really don't need much. I just did a few dots and then I spread it out with my fingers. But then because it was just like one streak because I didn't blend it out fast enough. I went in again with the Naked Cosmetics um, highlighter and I used the purple one to go on top of that because I mean the Shimmer Veil is purple and that was purple too so it just kind of helped it out a little bit and made it blend out a little better. And also because it was like I thought it was like a little bit too much I went on top of that with some of my gold highlighter by Sonia Kesha. Just to like tone it down just a little bit because it was like super just boom. Because it was like highlighter on top of highlighter. And I need something just to mute it just a little bit. So that's what I did. And also I used this vintage eye pencil. Smoky eye pencil. And this retails for $21. It's a rich... It's a richly pigmented smoky eye pencil that delivers an intense jet black definition creating pencil point precision or a smudgy saturated color this creamy soft formula glides on lids without tugging or pulling and it did glide on very nicely let me show you i already did one but i'm gonna do it again it did glide on very nicely so there was no smudging or anything like that i did apply it just a little bit um because i knew i was gonna put falsies on today i didn't really want to do a wing because i mean it's a colorful eye look and this is a black eye pencil i didn't really want to do that so I just applied just a little bit, my top lid and my bottom lid, um, and it went on very smoothly. So yeah. And lastly, we got in the box this pure F faux lips plumping lip exfoliator. That is a long name for this, but that is what we got. Oh, it twists up too. I didn't know that. That's cool. I kind of always wanted a lip exfoliator. Usually at night, I just, um, I either use some petroleum jelly or I use some, usually I use chapstick, but if I can't find my chapstick, I use petroleum jelly and I apply that at night and then in the morning, it just like wipes away, wipes all the way all the dry skin and stuff from my lips and my lips are really soft and nice and easy. And my lipstick is like easy to apply but I've always wanted to try like a lip exfoliator this is really cool I like this I put it on at first I thought it was a a lip primer because I didn't read it <laughs> so I just opened the thing and I looked at it and then I started applying it. I was like oh that is scratching my lip but um now it's a lip exfoliator and this is a sugar lip exfoliator and it says as an intense boost of shea butter, raw sugar, and exfoliating bees, this 4-in-1 lip scrub pencil exfoliates, exfoliates, plumps, hydrates, and soothes. Using the shea butter to soften lips while the raw sugar and exfoliating bees are used to buff away dead surface cells, it moisturizes the lips for a softer, smoother, more plump lip. And this retails for $17. But this is really cool. It has kind of like a, it's very sweet, like you can taste the sugar, it's very sweet. So yes, there is actual sugar in this. And um, it has almost like a slight citrusy taste to it also. It was really nice. Like just before I put my lipstick on, I put this on and I rubbed my lips together just for a little while. And then I wiped it off with a cotton ball just because I had that next to me. So I wiped it off with a cotton ball and then I applied my lipstick. And it did definitely go on really smooth because before that I didn't have any chapstick on or anything because um, I just ate some food. So I wiped all that off. But uh, yeah, it worked really nicely, and the taste wasn't bad or anything. It was it was a little it was a little shocking because I didn't really expect it to be sweet like that or taste like sugar. I thought it would be like more subtle, but no, it was like sugar in your mouth. But it was really cool. I like it. Oh, cool! And in the box, you get a twenty percent off your next purchase on coverxfx.com. And use code FX Charm at checkout. The offer is valid through March 15th, 2018. So check that out. They really like pure. I like pure cosmetics too. I 
feel like they have pure cosmetics in here like every month. But I really like it, so I'm not complaining. <clears throat> I guess I did open the box before doing this video. I actually opened it when I first got it just to make sure I got all my stuff in it. In case I had to email somebody. It's never happened to me before, but you know, you never know. So yeah, I did check it out. And I saw that the Pure Cosmetics thing, the highlighter collection, I saw it was super colorful. So I did my eyes to kind of match my bralette, which is also super colorful. And pretty much it's like spring here right now anyway. It's like 80 degrees and it has been 80 degrees the entire month. So I'm going to say that winter is over in Georgia and right now it's just spring right now. So we're good. We're in spring. I've declared it. That's it. Winter is over. Here we are. So that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of this box and if you have BoxyCharm, if you're going to try it out. I kind of went back and forth as to whether or not I was going to do BoxyCharm. I actually, actually canceled it at one point because I was like, I don't know. It's just a lot of makeup just to have around. But I mean, it is cool. It's, it's a nice way to try out different products and stuff. So I thought it's pretty cool. But anyway, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Because why not? And I will see you next time. Bye. Boxy Charm. Hey, Boxy Charm.